Blessings and peace to you. This is SB Favor Thinking Podcast, and my name is SB Favor. How are you doing today? It is March 2nd, 2024. Another wonderful day, and another day to be thankful. And as I always say, if you focus on what is good, then you can project something good to happen yes when you focus on what is good because there are no benefits to focusing on all the negative things and thinking about problems there are no benefits in that so focus on what is good if you're out there traveling about today make sure you say a prayer it doesn't hurt to pray make sure you keep yourself safe and your family members safe make sure you are not distracted by being on your phone too much. You must pay attention to what is going on in your environment. So keep yourself safe and keep your family members safe and use that hand sanitizer. Don't you want to be clean? Yes. (laughs) Use that hand sanitizer because germs are real and people are still becoming ill. So Like I said, keep yourself safe and keep your family members safe. I always remind you of these things because I care. If you would like to give to the podcast, you can give at cash app, dollar sign, at SB Favor, or you can give at Venmo, at SB Favor. Once again, if you would like to give to the podcast, you can give at cash app, dollar sign, SB Favor, or you can give at at Venmo. Thank you so much for your donations and your support. Well, I have a special co-host with me on this episode and I'm, I'm really happy to have this gentleman join me this evening. His name is Mars and we are going to talk about the power of change yes so mars welcome 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 to (laughs) sv favorite thinking podcast how are you today tonight right now how are you fine thank you how about yourself i'm good i'm good you know it's a pleasure having you here and just to talk about this topic the power to change because we all need change in our life. We all need to change and grow through different situations and circumstances because life is always changing. There's always something new happening. And of course, we all fall short of different things. And that's why I say we all need to change from something. So, Mars, I'm going to ask you a few questions about this uh, topic. What is the power to change to you? To me, uh, my experience that I have gone through, the only tool, the the major uh, capacity to change has been my relationship with with Jesus, in my case, has been getting closer to, to God, to having a uh, a power that is uh, a lot more than we can explain that can form a new person that can give you the strength to change. Wow. Very well said. You went deep. <laughs> you went deep. That's good. That's good. Look, we all need to change. And Morris said it best. The power is through Jesus. That's straight to the point. Go ahead, go ahead, Morris. Go ahead, continue. Absolutely, I think my 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 experience has been only with the help of the Lord that I've been able to do those things that in in this world, in the real life, you know, uh, are almost that we could see as everyday people that are almost impossible. If we don't have that love from Jesus, we don't have that that pursuit to pursue him, to to look for him, I think it's it's just it's just not 
they you're not able to do it. That's just just my opinion, you know. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, I can remember a time in my life many years ago. Oh, uh, let's see, early two thousands, late nineties. Um, I was desiring a great change in my life, and I kept making mistakes over and over again, and I tried all that I knew I could do. But what what happened for me was when I began to pray, I started seeing a change. And when I continued to put my confidence in God and not my own strength or myself, that's when I saw my path just evolving into something better and new now don't get me wrong i know a lot of people out there they use what is called self-help books and inspirational content and they use all different types of methods to make change in their life because god has given us free will to make decisions and choices to do better but listeners what morris is talking about is when you cannot change something yourself, that's when God comes into the picture. Because there are some things in life, only God can do it. And I I don't want to sound religious, because y'all know I'm not a religious person. I'm a spiritual person. (laughs) I always have to give that disclaimer, because when you mention God, some people just start murmuring oh boy here they go talking about god but we're going to talk about god on this podcast because that's just the bottom line but the point of what i'm saying is this there are some things in life we must turn to god for because we cannot do it for ourselves so mars tell me about a situation in your life you know in your heart you couldn't you couldn't have done done nothing if it wasn't for God. You had to turn to him to change a situation. And you could be really, really honest. It's 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 all good here. This is a safe space to just be real honest. Tell me about a time where you knew only God could help you to, to change. Oh, I had a, a terrible experience of um uh being uh everything my whole life taken away from me um to the point that uh just going through well, I lost everything in my life uh including my freedom that uh thank thanks to the spirit the spiritual part like you say mm-hmm. uh, i turn i turn to god i I search, look for him, mm-hmm. and definitely, there's no doubt. There's no doubt in my in my whole my whole being, my whole being, and every one of the, the cells that compose our body. That uh, it's through prayer and through faith that I made it uh, through that really tough times, you know, mm-hmm. of losing everything, having to start all over. Wow, that's a powerful, powerful story. How you 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 experience the power of God, the goodness of God, the mercy of God to step in in a situation you knew you could not change yourself. There is somebody out there right now listening to this podcast and they are thinking about something in their life they need to change because change is not a bad thing change is an open door to purpose and things that are more beneficial and helpful to us because when we choose to do the same thing, getting the the same result, it's not good. So many of us 
have so many different things to change. And that does not mean you have to walk around and try to be perfect because none of us are perfect. But we can make a conscious effort to have better families, to be better as individuals, to make better decisions. And as I always say, to be an asset and not a liability to someone. So, Mars, tell me, what are the benefits to you for change? Well, I uh, started to make it a habit into praying, into believing in, in what I was feeling mm-hmm. at that time that was giving me the strength to Mm -hmm. go day by day and with that without knowing I was making a change in my life Mm -hmm. making a change to understand exactly what you explained at the beginning that um, there are many situations that somebody's going through whether it is that they just got news that they have cancer or they lost a loved one any situation and the only way that we can deal with some traumatic changes in our life that when they come with unexpected changes like that um, is is going to change ourselves, you know? Yeah. Going through going through that understanding that and trying to um, it's hard for a human being to be able to uh, uh, figure all that out, but if you have faith, if you have mm-hmm. what it, what, did, what you could really listen to your inner uh, soul mm-hmm. telling you to resist, to to have to have faith, to be strong, to to say say uh, now this is something that doesn't depend on me, yeah. doesn't nobody nobody can help me, but faith that I believe that I can go through this yeah that's true I remember um, years ago many many years ago when I was uh, I mean I love to dance and I I was the type back in the day I I had to go to the club I was in Philly and I was in the clubs and I'll still go to a club now but a certain type of club that is you know because I love to dance and in safe environments and I remember a time just running back and forth to the clubs and having a good time. And all of a sudden, Mars, I just became tired. I became so tired of trying to resolve my own problems. I became so tired of uh, trying to figure things out for my life. I became tired. So I started this healing journey, this new journey, praying and uh, self-development and doing the work on myself. And I remember praying and just allowing myself to, as you stated, get closer to God. And all of a sudden, I started seeing a whole new world open up to me. I saw life totally different everything started to change around me and being a mother i started pouring all of that into my daughter and i'm telling you prayer and just being honest with myself that's when i started to really see god and i think a lot of times People are not honest with themselves and that's what hinders them from experiencing the change. What do you think about that, Mars? Do you think that some people are not honest with themselves, which will hinder them from experiencing the change? Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, if you're not prepared for a change, if you're not um, if you're the type of person that uh, you th- think that only you can do things right and only you, like the world, the 
try to teach us to, uh, that you can solve this or you can solve that. It's, it's impossible for so many things that it could occur to any one of us uh, where not even the best doctors or the, the best lawyers or whatever we think that is the answer is not the answer. There are so many situations where if you don't believe, if you don't feel that, that the priority, the, the number one thing is you changing, that you can make the difference yourself. Yes. If you're not prepared for that, that's, I mean, it's just you know, maybe not for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a serious thing. And I say it's a serious thing because we're living in a world filled with so much that's happening so quick every day. But when we take a moment to reflect and think about what is important, then we will know why it is important to make changes in our life. So, Morris, do you think uh, going through the process to change for yourself personally, was there something uh, exciting about it despite some of the pain or hardship you may have gone through? Was there something exciting about it in the change, in the process of change? Well, I don't know if it's, I don't know if I would say uh, that, well, the the joy, uh, the joy that you get to see that you are doing different things, like you said at the beginning, it's something really important. You can't, if you make, let's say you make rice pudding and you it always comes out too sweet because you put too much sugar. Like you said, if you keep doing the same recipe, you're going to get the same result, right? Yes. So if it's the same way in life, if I couldn't, if I didn't make that change, I can't expect to, to have a different result, you know? Yes. So that is what gave me the strength to make that change is faith in my case. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and, like you said before, that a lot of people go through change by listening to self empowerment books or uh, just books about uh, mm-hmm. people that that help you. Uh, yes. What, what do you call those? Uh, self help motivation. Mm-hmm. Self help motivation. Yeah, but if you read most of those, uh, the people that are in that industry themselves, there are people that they're believing. Also, there's faith in them that through their through their motivation, you can change. You know, so it, it all relates down to faith. Yes, if we need that you know one way or another, and without being religious. You know, exactly. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I I strongly believe that it's so important to just live each day with some type of inspiring motivation, some type of inspiring drive. Because if we're living just for houses, cars, and money, and material things, that's all vain because all that stuff just fades away. But what you do to invest in yourself by becoming a better person or helping someone else to become a better person, and that result, you see great things happen. With that result, you will see great things happen when you do the work. When you do the work daily, because it's not just when something happens. Because some people, Morris, they think, oh, well, I have this problem, so now it's time for me to make it right or get better or get closer to God. And there's nothing wrong with that. But, This life is a journey. And to have a journey filled with quality and substance, it requires us to change. And I know, unfortunately, it's somebody out there that might be thinking, I have this degree, I got this house, I got money, I have all this stuff. 
but they have a bad spirit. Yeah, they have a bad spirit, and that's why it's important to change. And so, Mars, what do you think about that person that might be thinking, I don't need to change because I got enough money. <laughs> I don't need to change because I got Bentleys in the driveway. What do you think about that? Well, I had all them things too, and I could have probably uh, at, at one point or another have, have thought that too, yes. but into you lose everything until you are in a situation that money cannot do nothing for you. Your your team of lawyers cannot do nothing for you. All your personnel, employees, whatever you want to think you could have, they can't do nothing for you. This mm -hmm. is a situation where only if you believe you will be able to sustain it, be able to support it, just, just to support it. Right. It's amazing. Wow. Wow. That's 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 something to really think about. Because all of us, when you think about it, no matter what level we live on when it comes to finances, we are all in the same boat. <laughs> Why? Because we all need hope. We all have to have a uh, drive towards something better we we definitely do i mean what do you think morris i mean because it's sad that this world has us well had speaking you know in terms of us past us the world will have people thinking that they are on top of a mountain but they really still in the desert what do you think about that that's a mindset Right? A mindset that is not spiritual, a mindset that is sometimes without God. What do you think about that? That's, that's definitely true. It is very deep because sometimes, I wouldn't say most, most of the time, you know, we uh, think that everything is owed to whether we went to college or we achieved something, we did it on our own. But have you ever thought that if you didn't have health, or if you didn't, if those doors didn't open, whatever doors, every one of us, either whether it is to go to school, whether it is to go to training to a uh, technical school, however you work to get to try to better your life, you went through a change. A door opened for you. Yes. And how did that happen then? Yeah, that's true. That's a fact, and it's important for us to understand good, bad, or indifferent, no matter what is happening in our life, we need to progressively position ourselves to change. We all need to do it, because when we position ourselves to change, then we will have the ability to help someone else to change. Sometimes when I am scrolling uh, social media and I see uh, people that I've known for years and I see how they have changed and I see the growth and the development, that just makes me so happy. And the opposite of that is to see someone that is not growing and not changing. That grieves my spirit because we all have to grow and change. So, Mars, what do you think about a person that believes they don't have to change? Because, you know, there's an old saying that says uh, some people are just stuck in their ways or set in their ways. What do you think about the person that just believes that they don't have to grow or they don't have to change and they can just be who they are? <laughs> what do you think about that person? Honestly, I really believe that... Uh deep inside even those people that for whatever reason they feel that they're stuck I mm -hmm. think we all felt one way or another at yeah. some time they're stuck you know we all we all went through that mm -hmm. but I think that it's uh, you, you have to it's a dis personal decision that everybody has to make if you want a different result I'll always go back to 
uh, what you said at the beginning. You know, if you you can't expect a different outcome if you don't change something in the recipe, whether it's mm-hmm. a recipe of your life, whether it's a recipe of what you're going to eat tomorrow, yes, or whatever. You know that if you don't make a change, you're going to get the same results. But if you're happy with those results, if that really you know, if the cars or what you see on TV or what you think your life is like, if you're happy thinking that is that that is, that's the life you want, I have to respect that, you know? But um, you cannot, if you're not happy, if you're not growing as a human being and become a better person, uh, I've, I've really can only pray you know, for those, because it just the same way you just said, it makes me very happy. It, it it brings my spirit up to see some of my friends that how they have grown, how they have come to be family, mm-hmm. have a new family, have a new life, and mm-hmm. how, you know, if, if I have seen it with my kids. They are growing and, you know, they're working their way up to college. Some already went to college and to see that grow that change that makes i mean it makes my heart really happy it makes me really uh to see the positive in that it that involves the change you know yeah absolutely yes we always should be the encouragers to be the influence for change and i'm not talking about uh, beating somebody over the head with words and criticizing them, but I'm talking about being uh, inspiring and influential in a way uh, people would see the benefits of change. I know we all have people in our family that, as I stated earlier, they may be set in their ways or they don't feel they need to change, but even in that type of situation, we can encourage others to change and just be influenced by being kind to them and just showing them a different way of being when it comes to how to handle different situations. Because generationally, when we make changes in our life, we set the course and the path for something better and new. As you stated, Mars, with our children, when we do differently, we set the path for a different course of action for our children to reap because of something we have done better. Just as if we do the wrong things, our children could reap that. So when we stay on the path to do those things that are good and righteous, so to speak, and when we do those things that are more beneficial, then our family will reap the benefits of that. And that's very real because I have to be honest, listeners, and I know many of y'all have heard me say this more than once. Uh, Having my daughter was the best thing that ever happened to me. (laughs) Because all I wanted to do was just go to California and act like a fool. And when... I gave birth to my daughter. I stayed on that path that my mother showed me. And that path was to go to God for help, to work all things out for the better. That was the path my mom set me on at a young age. And so when I had my daughter, that's when I really started making the change what do you think about that mars when you have a child or your children being an influence to you what do you think about that i think that's a beautiful thing i think that's the most beautiful thing that any human being could say that um but whatever the situation whether it's difficulty uh, trying to make the right choice because there's no doubt in my mind that everybody that's a parent wants to make the right choice, especially with their kids. And the one that enjoy the most they can with their kids. And But sometimes you can say, oh, but my job doesn't let me, 
uh, my obligations or so so. But that's that's where the love, the the the, the power of love makes you change, makes mm. you want to go to school, makes you want to be a better father, makes you want to leave all those whatever lies the world try to tell you that you need to go to the club or you need to be doing things that you thought were normal at one time. You could say, wait a minute, now I'm, I have, I have this child, I have this love, I have this piece of my heart in this, in this child and I want to be better. So one way or another, that is making a change. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. And thank you for saying that the power of love will make you change because love, it compels us. Yes. God never uh, blows fire on us and forces us to change in some in some situations. I believe when God is asking us to change, he does it first by compelling us with love because a lot of people unfortunately think that God is just a brimstone fire, but he's not that. Um, the God that I understood and prayed to when I was younger, I received his love and I understood that. And so even now, that love is uh, so awesome. That's what keeps me smiling every day. <laughs> When I have problems, when I don't have problems, God's love is sustaining. And Mars, thank you for saying that. Also, I want to mention that when you are in the process, listeners, when you are in the process of changing, when you are on a path, and if you fall short, I want to say to you, it's okay. It's okay. Show yourself some grace show yourself some compassion just as god would show you compassion just as god forgives you as you are accountable show yourself some grace and you do that by forgiving yourself and understanding that you are not perfect you're going to always fall short of something but when you fall short just get up and keep going and stay on the path to do something better. Don't condemn yourself and look at the past and rehearse thoughts from the past and rehearse feelings from the past. No, stay on the path to change, be confident, and continue to take courage and be encouraged to just keep going forward, even if you fall short. Because none of us are perfect. And if someone is criticizing you, get away from them. <laughs> Be around the people that will support you and encourage you to continue to change. But if you make a mistake and somebody just throws it in your face, no, that's not love. That's not love. Because if you make a mistake or, or if you do something by falling short of the goal you of where you need to be, just Get back on track. And if that person is not supporting you and forgiving you and holding you accountable, then I would say just run away from them <laughs> because you don't want to be connected around someone that is bringing you down. Every time you fall short, they hang it over your head like a curtain. No, nah, you, you, you don't need that. So, Mars, what do you think about that? When you fall short to get up, what do you think about that? I think that uh, we all know when we when we tried our best, and I think that we all have a conscience to know that you did your best, and that's the great thing about having a rela relationship with God. That when you when you whenever you fall short, the Lord, like what you said earlier, always shows love. Uh, he has always treated me with love, even when I don't haven't deserve it. You know, all he, all, all I can think about, all I have, my experience, everything I can count, is love, love from God, and therefore, if, if from my expectations, I feel short, or if something 
that I made a mistake on, I will always get the strength to say I can change. I can, I will try to be better. And I have done, I have seen it. I've seen the change in myself to deal with situations where they used to annoy me at one time. But now I could say, well, that's, that's really not important and continue to, to grow. Yes, absolutely. I like this topic and Morris, I'm really enjoying this conversation with you and I hope that you will accept the invitation to come join me again because I would love a man's perspective on different things. I do a lot of inspirational quotes, but I'm sure you have so much to offer, uh, you could say, to the men that listen to this podcast because I have a large (laughs) male audience out here. And thank you, thank you, thank you to all the men that support this podcast. Well, we are going to conclude this episode. But before we conclude this episode, Mars, is there anything else you would like to say about this topic? The only thing I would like to say is uh, I don't know if anybody's going through any difficulties or any tough situation right now for all the people that I have all the episodes that I've heard of your podcast I mean uh, people like you that take their time to try to help others without expecting anything back just doing all using your talent to try to get the right uh the uh, to give somebody uh, hope, to give somebody the right of feeling, the right where people, all human beings, no matter from different walks of life, we can feel better about Mm -hmm. ourselves. We can can motivate and always give people hope through faith. I think it's beautiful. And I think, I hope that uh, this conversation that we had, could reach all those men or all those young men or middle-aged men, whoever, uh, that will help them to understand that there's always hope. There's always hope to be a better person. There's always hope to, through love, through doing good things, especially for others. And I pray, pray deeply that this will help. If it helps just one person, I will want to do this over and over again. Thank you. Wow. Well, I'm going to have you back for sure because I just believe that we all have something special to give to the next person when we take the time to understand who we are. And so once again, Mars, I thank you so much for just being here, having this conversation. And to to you listeners, thank you always for supporting this podcast I am sending out a big virtual hug right now because this was a special episode and I hope that you listeners are encouraged and motivated to change and do something different and better. So on that note, if you need to reach me, you can reach me at sbfavor at yahoo.com via email. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, subscribe to me wherever you see SB Favor or SB Favor Thinking Podcast. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave me some feedback. Subscribe to iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, Amazon Audible, um, Apple Podcasts. If you Google SB Favor Thinking Podcast, you will find me somewhere. I am everywhere. Please support the podcast. And once again, if you would like to support to, excuse me, if you would like to support the podcast financially, that's what I wanted to say. I'm moving too fast speaking. You can give at Cash App Dollar Sign SB Favor, or you can give at Venmo at SB Favor. Share this podcast with others. You can do no wrong with that. You can only do good. So thank you again for listening. 
and you have a good day.